Before I went and did my exercise this morning, I wanted to do a quick video and tell you guys what I do to grow my nails long and also do a couple of reviews on some products that I have used and hopefully that they would help you out in your nail growth journey. Let's get started. I am sure a lot of you have heard of the product Dory or Dory Nail Growth. It's pretty expensive, about $10 a bottle. I think Walmart also sells it now. And it's like $10 or $11 a bottle. I bought mine last year and I was really frustrated with my nails chipping and peeling and just constantly getting hit and breaking because they were so fragile. And I came across Dory on some YouTube videos. And when I first looked Dory up, there were only maybe three or four videos on YouTube talking about Dory. And they didn't really help, but they insinuated that it really helped their nails in some way or encouraged their nails to grow. So I bought mine off of Amazon. When I bought mine off Amazon, there was maybe one bad review on it. And I thought, okay, it's only one person. This is really going to help. And I was so excited. And I think I paid $13 for it, if not more. And when I got it, I read the instructions. I followed the instructions to the max. And it didn't work. The first thing that happened was, I think after day two, I'll say day two, I don't want to say day one, day two, it peeled off my nails. And when it peeled, it hurt because it took off a layer of skin off my nails. And I thought, okay, this isn't cool. But I said, let me give this product a try. I used it for maybe two months and it kept doing the same thing and with Dory you're supposed to I think polish your nails and put two coats on every day and on the third day take it off and polish your nails again and do that and it was very time consuming but I did it because I wanted it to work something like that and it just did not so I threw that to one side and I went to Walmart and got something else. I feel like that Dory nail polish was one of the worst decisions that I ever made in my life because it's so expensive for something that didn't work and I'm just convinced because it that maybe Dory pays people to leave them good reviews because that was like the worst nail polish that I have ever had. No nail polish should peel after two days and take your skin off. It was just very very bad so that I just honestly I keep that during nail polish the little bit that I have left I keep it to fill in my nails when I put on tips and maybe I'll upload that video later I just use it as if it was acrylic powder to fill in because it's that thick I mean it's not a thin nail polish at all it's very very thick and that's all I use it for and I will never buy it again what I ended up going to Walmart and buying is the 3 Minute Artificials by Nail Aid. And you can see I've used a lot of it. I actually bought two bottles. I lost one and started using the other one. It is very good. It's a nice thin nail polish. It doesn't fall off in the bathtub. It doesn't peel. It makes your nails very hard and your nails will grow. And it's 348 347 under $5 at Walmart. Works wonderfully. And they didn't ask me to do this. I thought I would do it because I want to share my experience with others. That's what I use. I also got the uh, Nail Builder Stop Splitting, Peeling, and Shipping. Even though the Three Minute Artificials does the same thing, they have different. Um, ones like this one is a gel extreme shine top coat to keep your nail polish from chipping the reason why I went and went ahead and bought these two is because they have different ingredients in them this one has collagen in it collagen is very good for your nails and I haven't been taking my vitamins the way I'm supposed to 
so I bought this because I'm lazy. They also have one called um, Ultra Fast Growth. This one, will, honestly, in about a week, my nails will be longer. These are my natural nails right now. And if you have seen my previous videos, you would see that I have um, full nail nails on. And in my house, I do a lot of work. I do gardening. I do dishes. I I'm constantly doing something in my house. And I'm a very active person to where if I go like this up against something, my nails are so hard that it will take off a take off a crap. Um, so I will put these on. These are full nails. I use these and I do not use any glue for these. I go to Sally's and I pick up these terrific tips. They're stickies and they come in a package like this. You simply peel one of these off the paper. You put it directly onto your nail or on one of these nails. I put it directly onto my nail. It's just easier. Peel the brown paper off, stick the nail on there, and it stays. I put either the three minute artificials on or the nail growth onto my nail first. Let it dry. Then I put the sticky on. Then I put the nail on. This helps my nail stay protected. For some reason, when I am not home, I can count on my nails to grow very long. When I am home and they are not really, really, really protected, one of them will get broken. Then I'll file down on my nails and start all over again. So these are what my nails look like right now. And even with the Dory nail polish that I had been using, I wasn't home. I hadn't. I wasn't doing any type of you know, hard work for about a month and the nail polish was still coming off. So that's what I use. The other thing that I use is once I, I do not have to continually file my nails for ridges or buffs or something like that because of the full nails that I have onto my nails. Because once it's done, it's done. I only have a problem when I take those nails off. These stickies last about a week for me. And that's with me having my hands in water, taking a bath, doing different things like that. And the stickies will not harm your nail bed. That's one of the things that I really like. If you feel it coming off, feel it trying to move, it will eventually just fall off on the nail or it will just come off in your sleep and your nails will be fine. I do however use acetone on my nails. I just like the fact that I have a clean slate and if I'm going to buff and condition my nails I will use one of these. This is the uh, seven way nail buffer, you file, you polish, you shine. I use that and I use the OPI nail oil on my cuticles. That's about it. Uh, when I do take my vitamins the way I'm supposed to in two weeks, I will have very, very long nails. So between vitamins, milk, and doing the nail polish, my nails are very long. Just doing the nail polish, two weeks, two weeks and a half, long nails. But that's just what I use because I do a lot. And um, hopefully that that helped you out. But definitely I say go get the three minute artificials if nothing else. This is really all you need, three minute artificials. Three dollars, let's just say three dollars and fifty cents. Walmart, um, I saw some people selling it on eBay. If you don't have a Walmart, which I find hard to believe, you can order it off of eBay. People are selling it, you know, very high price, maybe because they know it works, but I say don't get it off of there. Go to Walmart, order it off of Walmart.com if you have to, 
get from there it's much deeper that's what I use I hope that helped you out and I'm about to do a nail tutorial right now so I'll see you guys again in a little bit subscribe now